How's it going, folks? Little uh, Mickey's Big Mouth. I don't even know if I have a drink coming up. I don't, but I'm going to have one. Ah, what a day. A little work-related accident. Slice myself pretty bad. <sighs> Can't even feel it now. It's all numbed up. <sighs> Chapter 20 of Mosiah. Now there was a place in Shemlon where the daughters of the Lamanites did gather themselves together to sing and to dance and to make themselves merry. That's kind of shades of uh, the Benjamites uh, in uh, the Book of Judges right after their big civil war. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Mm, I haven't had that in a long time. And it came to pass that there was one day a small number of them gathered together to sing and dance. And now the priests of King Noah, <laughs> that barbecued king, <laughs> Uh, the priests of King Noah, being ashamed to return to the city of Nephi, yay! <laughs> and also fearing that the people would slay them. Therefore, they durst not return to their wives and their children. And having tarried in the wilderness, and having discovered the daughters of the Lamanites, they laid and watched them. And when there was but a few of them gathered together to dance, they came forth out of their secret place and took them and carried them into the wilderness. Yay! Twenty and four of the daughters of the Lamanites they carried into the wilderness. And it came to pass that when the Lamanites found out that their daughters had been missing, they were angry with the people of Limhi. For they thought it was the people of Limhi. Therefore they sent their armies forth. Yay! Never sure I say that. <laughs> Yay, even the king himself went before his people, and they went up to the land of Nephi to destroy the people of Limhi. And now Limhi had discovered them from the tower. Even all their preparations for war did he discover. Therefore, he gathered his people together and laid wait. <coughs> oh, I was trying to hold it off laid wait for them in the fields and in the forest. It's almost like it knows I'm needing to make room. Mm. And now Limai had discovered them. Wait, what? Yeah. Now 
Now Limhi discovered them from the tower, even all their preparations of war did he discover. Therefore he gathered his people together, and they laid wait for them in the fields and in the forests. And it came to pass, I'm going to have another one, it's been a tough day. Since I'm repeating myself now. And it came to pass that when the Lamanites had come up, that the people of Limhi began to fall upon them from their waiting places and began to slay them. And it came to pass that the battle became exceeding sore, for they fought like lions for their prey. And it came to pass that the people of Limhi began to drive the Lamanites before them. Yet they were not half so numerous as the Lamanites. But they fought for their lives and for their wives and for their children. Therefore they exerted themselves like dragons. Did they fight? Wow. Whew. Like dragons. Uh, and it came to pass <coughs> that's what came to pass. And it came to pass that they found the king of the Lamanites among the number of their dead, yet he was not dead, having been wounded and left upon the ground. So speedy was the flight of his people. And they took him and bound up his wrists, and, bound, and brought him before Limhi, and said, Behold, here is the king of the Lamanites. He, having received a wound, was fallen among the dead. Nope. <coughs> oh, you sneaky bastard. <sighs> uh, and they have left him. And behold, we have brought him before you. And now let us slay him. Wow. Did that have to be that long? Verse 13 is like... <coughs> that's all it said. But Limhi said unto them, Ye shall not slay him, but bring him hither that I may see him. And they brought him, and Limhi said unto him, What cause have ye come up to war against my people? Behold, my people have not broken the oath that I made unto you. Therefore, why should ye break the oath which ye have made unto my people? And now the king said, I have broken the oath because thy people did carry away the daughters of my people. Therefore, in my anger, I did cause my people to come up to war against thy people. And now Limhi had heard nothing concerning this matter. Therefore he said, I will search among my people, and whoever, whosoever has done this thing shall perish. Therefore he caused a search to be made among his people. Now when Gideon had heard these things, he, being the king's captain, he went forth and said unto the king, that's Limhi, not the other guy, the other layman, I pray thee, forbear, and lay not this thing to their charge. For do ye not remember the priests of thy father, whom this people sought to destroy? 
And are they not in the wilderness? And are they not the ones who have stolen the daughters of the Lamanites? Why are you asking him? He doesn't know. But it sounds like a plausible deduction. And now, behold, and tell the king of these things, that he may tell his people that they may be pacified towards us. Uh, for behold, they are already preparing to come against us. And behold, th also, there are but a few of us. And behold, they came with their numerous hosts. You know, a host is numerous. It means a lot. You mean they had a lot of a lot? <sighs> Sounds like an oxymoron. Uh, or an oxymormon. <laughs> yeah, pacify them towards us. Uh, pacify them towards us. And behold, they come with numerous hosts, and except the king doth pacify them towards us, us, we must perish. Change your drawers. Damn. <laughs> For are not the words of Abinadi fulfilled, which he prophesied against us? And all this because we would not hearken unto the words of the Lord and turn from our iniquities. And now let us pacify the king. I don't want to hear about that. And we fulfill the oath which we have made unto him. For it is better that we should be in bondage that, than that we should lose our lives. You think so? Give me liberty or give me death. You call yourselves Americans. Therefore, let us put a stop to this shedding of so much blood, especially your own. And now Limhi told the king all these things concerning his father and the priests that had fled into the wilderness and attributed the carrying away of their daughters to them. Finally. Ouch. Keep forgetting. I think the painkillers wearing off. That's why I'm supplementing. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong chapter. No wonder I'm lost. Okay. And it came to pass that they followed the king and went forth without arms to meet the Lamanites. They're taking their king back. <coughs> and, wow, two in one verse. I love it. And it came to pass that they did meet the Lamanites. Stands to reason. And the king of the Lamanites did bow himself before them. But he's still not going to let them off the hook for half of their shit every year in tribute. He's bowing to them, but they're still his biatches. <laughs> Down before him, them. Uh, he bowed to them. Uh, and did plead in behalf of the people of Limhi. And when the Lamanites saw the people of Limhi, that they were without arms, they 
were a lot nicer than the Mormons were at the Mountain Meadows Massacre. They had compassion on them. Imagine that. And were pacified towards them and returned with their king in peace towards their land. You know, except for the race, racist vilification of the Lamanites, they sound a lot better than the Nephites. They're, they outnumber them because they don't seem to be killing each other. They're just killing Nephites. And the Nephites are killing each other. <laughs> yeah, those Lamanites. What a bunch of pricks. I mean, except for that eating raw meat and shit, you know. And I don't know if I'd like mountain lion uh, steaks. Yeah, they eat all that. But, I mean, otherwise, it sounded like they were pretty happening. Anyhow, I will see you guys in... Um, fuck am I? Chapter 21. Peace. The fuck. Out. And have a better day than I've had.